Hi guys! What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Good day po sa inyong lahat, sa lahat ng mga subscriber ko. Yung mga hindi pa nag-subscribe, sana po mag-subscribe na po kayo. Dito na naman ako para isi-share ko sa inyo ang topic tungkol sa memory loss. Kung paano natin tulungan ang brain natin para hindi tayo mag-develop agad ng memory loss. So, lahat naman tayo magkaka-experience na ng ganyan. Kahit nga may mga bata pa ngayon na magkaka-experience na ng ganyan. Bago ko umpisahan ang topic na ito, ay mag-intro muna tayo guys. Uy, nagpapasalamat talaga sa lahat sa mga nag-shares at saka nag-likes at saka nag-love sa video ko. Salamat sa lahat-lahat ng pagtitiwala nyo sa akin. Sana uh, kung mag-subscribe naman kayo sa channel ko, uh, gawin sana natin ang tama. Kailangan manood muna tayo sa video. Ako talaga, ginagawa ko talaga yan. Nanonood talaga muna ako. So, so guys, ngayon na uh, umpisahan ko na guys ang how to manage and prevent memory loss. Sa lahat tayo, nagkaka-experience ng ganito. Dipindi kasi yan health condition natin kung anong mayroon tayo. Kaya maaga tayong mag-develop ng memory loss. So para matulungan natin ang brain natin uh, para hindi tayo laging mag-memory loss tutulungan natin siya kung paano natin i-manage at prevent memory loss. So lahat tayo, everyone has memory blips from time to time. So the word that on the very tip of your tongue, minsan na lagi natin na nasasabi na nandito na sa dulo na dila ko pero hindi ko talaga siya maalala kung ano yun. As you get older, these kinds of slip ups may happen more often. So lalo pag nagpakailan na tayo, yun ang lagi natin na experience. So you didn't have to resign or panic to your memory loss. So these simple steps can help keep your brain sharp. So number one is tip it up. A 30 minutes daily walk is one of the best you can do for your body, including the brain. So physical exercise has the best evidence for preserving memory and mental function with aging. So exercise can prevent things that can lead to memory loss such as diabetic, hypertensive or high blood pressure, obesity and stroke. Go to a Mediterranean diet. A healthy diet is always good your brain. One eating styles may save your memory best. So, depende yan sa kinakain mo. Kaya, ang Mediterranean diet, guys, hindi yung pasta. Ang Mediterranean diet ay lots of uh, fruits and vegetables, fish uh, rather than red meat, and olive oil. Yun ang mga Mediterranean diet. People who closely followed this diet were nearly 20% least likely to have thinking and memory problems. Engage your brain. Just like physical exercise, mental exercise also is good for you. So play card, watch a football game with friends, or play a brain training up. Any mentally challenging activities will keep your mind sharp. So, ako naggalaro ako talaga ng crossword. Na-stroke ako ng 2010. So nung one week after my stroke, uh, after I was admitted in the hospital, hindi talaga ako makaremember kaya yung brain ko ayaw niya mag-cooperate. So ang takot ko noon, kahit anong isip ko, hindi talaga babalik ang memory ko. Nagko-crossword ako talaga sa awa ng Diyos, mga ilang weeks lang yun bumabalik ang memory loss ko. Ang pang-apat guys, stay social. Keep your socially active. So, another plus for your brain. So, makipag-socialize ka kung may, may mga games, yung mga party. Makipag-socialize ka sa mga friends mo, pa families mo, hindi yung mag-isolate ka. Kasi kung more social connections mo, the better they are preserving mental function and memory. So, nakaraming mga tao na isolate at tapos nagdevelop sila ng depression so yun ang mga nagcause ng dementia so ang dementia ay severe na yun siya ng memory loss so sleep right so, hindi ako katulad ng ibang tao na paghiga pa lang <laughs> naghihilik na agad na pag hindi ka makatulog ng maayos talagang hindi nagpa-function ng brain mo so try these tips to get better sleep avoid big meals before bed 
go to bed at the same time each, each night and get up at the same time each morning. So, kung ano yung tulog mo, yun din ang gising mo. Don't drink caffeine or alcohol before bedtime. Ang iba naman, pampatulog nila ay alcohol, umiinom sila. Avoid smoking or add forms of nicotine. Kung nagsisigarits, isa din yan sa nagmi-memory loss. Avoid stress. In terms of financial problem, na-stress ka na. Being under stress is very bad for your brain. High levels of the stress hormones, cortisol, make it harder to pull information from your brain a memory. So, try meditation, yoga, or massage. So, ang smoking talaga, nakakatanda yan. So, if you smoke now, mag-quit ka na. So, try nicotine replacement, mid or counseling to help kick the habit for good. Kailangan mo rin magpa-check up. Every six months, magpa-check up ka ng mga blood uh, laboratory mo. Mga medical condition na uh, can cause memory loss, katulad ng depression, diabetic, thyroid disease, and vitamin deficiency. Nakaka-develop yan ng memory loss. So, certain meds such as sleep and anxiety drugs can also affect your ability to remember. So, see your doctor to get checked and treated for these problems and to go over all your health medicines. So, use uh, memory tricks. Yan, nakakatulong din yan para ma-exercise ang brains mo. Uh, when you have a trouble with me everyday memory, it helps to have a few tricks up your sleeve. Every time you learn a new name or word, say it loudly and try to seal it in your brain. Uh, may bago kang na-meet na, na words or mga pangalan, kailangan uh, i-practice mo yan na para mag-retain uh, siya sa brain mo. Mentally connect each new name with an image. So, katulad niyang mayroon kang namit na tao na ang pangalan niya is April. So, alahanin mo na mayroon siyang kahawig na pangalan katulad ng month natin. ba diba, may April na month. Okay. So, to help with recall, post sticky notes around the home and office or set reminders on your phone so you will know when it's time to take your meds or head to an important meeting. So, kung ano yung mga importante, kailangang i-post mo doon sa cabinet mo or sa refrigerator mo, yung lagi mong nadadanan, yung lagi mong nakikita para maraalala mo kung ano ang gagawin mo sa next na araw. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng tips for bitter memory. All of us have problems recalling. Some us are so disorganized and forgetful. So, no need to panic. Kung gusto mong mag-turbocharge your memory or lest you want engine running smoothly, ito ang gagawin mo. Make a memory notebook. Kailangan mayroon kang maliit na notebook. Yung ganyan lang una. Pwede mong mailagay sa wallet mo or sa bag mo. Ako, mayroon akong maliit na notebook. Nilalagay ko sa wallet ko para... Uh, bank number, mga cellphone number, mga birthdays sinusulat ko talaga doon kasi hindi ko maalala minsan yung mga birthday yung mga mahal ko sa buhay uh, notebook mo na maliit na yun It, that will help your plan of your life yun, yun siya ang magiging filing cabinet mo for phone numbers, birthdays, addresses medical information phone messages, inspirational toasts, yun ang magiging filing cabinet mo so, carry it with you anytime, wherever you go. Mag-fill up ka ng something na hinihingian ng mga number na hindi mo talaga ma-memorize. So, the act of writing, guys, something down, reinforce into your memory. And make sure to look at your notebook several times a day. Halimbawa niya, nasa sa, sasakyan ka na. Pupunta ako sa kwarto kasi may pupunin ako. Pero pagdating ko doon, nakalimutan ko. So, ang tips niyan para hindi mo makalimutan, talk aloud to yourself. I'm going to my room to get my glasses. Lakasan mo. <laughs> para kang siraulo pero tinutulungan mo lang yung brain mo. So, isa pang nakakatulong guys, post reminder signs in your house, office, and car. Okay. Sulat ka ng note doon sa cabinet mo or sa refrigerator mo. Yung lagi mong madadaanan o lagi mong makikita para pag makita mo yun, maalala mo siya. So, get in the habit of keeping items where you will need them. Case by the front of the door, umbrella in the sleeve of your coat, 
eye drops in the drawer of your stand and so on. So minimize distraction. Do one thing at a time. Turn off the television or radio when you are talking with someone. Lalo na sa restaurant, try to face the wall so you can more easily focus on the conversation uh, at your table. So use a memory tricks, acronyms, frames, and so on. When tightening or loosening leads, remember, Righty, tighty, lefty, lucy. Habang tumatanda tayo, habang tayo nagkakaedad na, ang memory natin ay nag slow down na siya. So, as friends, relatives, and even doctors, to speak more slowly. So, guys, hanggang dyan na lang ako. At salamat sa panonood ng video ko. Sana po, guys, ah, panoorin nyo ng buo, hindi yung skip-skip mo ang video para madali kayong matapos, hindi yun accepted sa barangay natin, kaya hindi tayo magsayang na pagod natin, bago natin pindutin ang pulang button so kung bago kayo guys sa uh, channel ko, huwag nyo kalimutan na mag-subscribe uh, aspiring ma'am po uh, pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo kung mayroon akong bagong video, sa sunod na naman natin pagkikita, God bless po sa ating lahat